another Adventures of Serena and Bonnie video. This one has two Misties. I wonder if May ever gotten that situation fixed between Misty. She said she was supposed to meet me here and talk with me about something. There you are. Now that you're here, I can give you a peace of mind and a lesson to not kiss my friend Ash. Wait a minute. I thought May told me that she would straighten things between us. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but you thought absolutely wrong. Don't listen to her, Serena. That person is nothing but an imposter. A fake. A phony. I'm the real Misty. You're the one who's got it backwards. You're the fake, phony Misty. I'm the real Misty. Oh, please. You're only trying to pretend to be me, and I can tell you you're doing a horrible job impersonating me. I'm confused. Since when were there two Misties that my friend Ash has traveled with? And which one of you is the real one if one of you is a fake? Listen to me, Serena. I'm the real Misty. That person over there is a fake phony trying to pretend to be me, but they're doing a horrible job. Please, I think you're the fake Misty over there. I'm the real one, and I'm going to stick to my story. Well, at least unlike you, I could actually interact with my water Pokemon at the Cerulean City Gym. That's if your own Cerulean City recognize you. In reality, they recognize me. Yeah, I've had it with both of you. You both need to stop arguing. If you're going to argue who's the real one, I'll tell you who the real one is. I've done research on the both of you, and I know who the real Misty is if I ask them certain questions and that only the real Misty would know, and the fake one would blow their cover. Is that Pikachu with you by any chance? Not just any Pikachu, that's Ash's Pikachu. Who else would you think it would be? PIKACHU! Why would Pikachu attack me with Thunderbolt? I thought we were friends. Perhaps it doesn't like the fact that one of us is an imposter and is trying to blow off our cover, which that would be you. I'm sorry, you two, but this is for your own good. Since none of you will admit who the fake one is, I'm borrowing Ash's Pikachu so it can destroy your disguise, whoever the fake Misty is. Pika Pika! Also, I'm going to ask you both some questions that only the real Misty would know the answers to. And the fake one would not know. So here's the first question. Where did you meet Ash Ketchum originally? Oh, that's easy. We met at the Cerulean City Gym. I was fishing, looking, hoping to catch a Pokemon out fishing, but in actuality, that I caught him by mistake, thinking that he was a water Pokemon. The second answer is the correct answer. That means you, who gave me the answer with the Cerulean City, you have one strike against you. Question number two. What was your reason for not joining Ash to go to Hoenn, but instead decide to stay as the Cerulean City Gym? My sisters are told numbskulls and they refuse to do gym battles, so that's why I have to stay at the Cerulean City Gym. My sisters, Lily, Daisy, and Violet, got tickets to a trip around the world, and they needed somebody to look after the gym while they were gone, and I had to volunteer. Otherwise, who knows what could happen to the gym, and I'd hate for them to shut it down. That's why I stopped going with Ash on a quest. Heartbreaking, but that's the right answer. As for the other Misty, if I were you, things are not looking good for you. Now this last question, I'm pretty sure only the real Misty would figure out. Question number three. Do you remember the name of that Pokemon that hatched from that egg that Ash found after he got rescued from his Charizard because of that crazy Aerodactyl? <laughs> That's an easy one. I know the answer for sure. The name of that Pokemon. Let's see. I think I might know the name. Was it a Baby Lugia? Pikachu, use Thunderbolt on that fake Misty, because the right answer was Togepi. Oh, I miss Togepi. Pikachu! Who the heck are you? I should have known it was you, Melody. Thanks a lot, Kalos loser. You blew my cover. Things were just going great, and you had to wreck everything. Melody? I thought it'd be either Casey or Bianca. I wasn't expecting her. Thanks a lot, you two. Now you've wrecked everything that I had originally planned. Now since you two wreck everything, I'm gonna wreck you two to see how you like it. 
I don't think so. Pikachu, send Melody blasting off like what you do with Team Rocket. Pikachu! And don't you dare come back here or imitate Misty again. So, let me guess. You're the real Misty, right? I'm the real deal, Serena. May told me everything. You're not gonna attack me all because I kissed Ash before him and I went our separate ways, are you? No, the only way I would actually attack you, Serena, is if you ever beat him up badly. That's more likely if I were to do something like that. Oh, good. I was worried for a moment that you would do something like that. Well, you don't have to worry. Anyway, I'd love to stay in chat, but I better get back to the Cerulean City Gym before a long line comes up at my gym. I don't want that to happen again. Well, you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna head back home and see what my mom's up to. So it turns out that the Misty that was featured in episodes 6 and 7 was Melody this whole time. The real Misty doesn't have to worry about Melody impersonating her since her Misty disguise is destroyed and Bonnie was absent because she had a dentist appointment. 